Hey, welcome back to Oboe Boot Camp. This is lesson two, and in this lesson we will learn how to assemble our oboe. All right, so we'll begin by identifying the top of your case. Now that's gonna be the side with the logo on it. And we'll go ahead and unlatch the latches carefully before placing the case flat on a table. We'll go ahead and open the lid. Inside your case, you'll see the upper joint, the lower joint, and the bell. Okay, go ahead and remove the upper joint and the lower joint from your case. Now we're gonna put these two pieces together. So we're gonna take the lower joint and we're gonna hold it near the cork and we're gonna try not to hold or squeeze any of the metal keywork. So try to hold it by the body right here, okay? Now we're gonna take the upper joint and we're gonna do much the same thing. We're gonna try our best to hold it just by the body and not pressing or squeezing any of the metal keywork because they can get uh, bent if you're not careful. All right, now we're gonna carefully line up the cork on the bottom of the upper joint. Now that's gonna be, uh, if you find this key right here, um, that'll show you where it is. Now there's only cork on one side of the upper joint. The other side here, this is where you're gonna put the reed eventually, okay? Now we're gonna take that part and we're gonna insert it into the, uh, the, the top of the lower joint. So uh, we're not gonna put cork on cork, we're gonna put cork on not cork, all right? So we're gently, we're gonna line it up first and we're just gonna gently twist until the two pieces go together, okay? That's it. Now, if it's difficult for the pieces to go together, uh, you're gonna wanna get some cork grease <clears throat> and uh, just apply that to, uh, to the cork. <clears throat> Um, now we're going to want to make sure that they're, the two pieces are lined up. So if you look on the back, now you can find the back of your oboe. If you find this piece, that's, that's your thumb rest. And then right where the two, um, the upper joint and the lower joint connect, there's these two bridge keys right here and right here. So we're going to want to make sure that those line, now this one's a little bit bent, but we're going to make sure um, that those line up like such. And then we'll know that our oboe, see that? perfectly aligned. So you can see the difference, right? See now it's not aligned too far one way, too far the other way, and now it's just right. So we'll line up both of those bridge keys and you're good to go. Okay. Uh, next we'll grab the bell and we're going to place that on the bottom of the lower joint. So that's the only exposed cork that you have right now. So again, gently, we're just going to hold by uh, trying not to squeeze or compress any of the, the metal key work here and just gently line it up and twist it on. Okay, here we go, and we're good to go. All right, so now our oboe is assembled, and the last thing we're gonna do is um, put our reed in position, okay? So grab your reed uh, from before, and in the top of the upper joint here, you'll see the hole where the reed goes, and simply just line it up, and push it down in until it stops. Go all the way until it stops. Now you're still gonna have about a half an inch of cork exposed here, that's totally fine. You're gonna wanna also make sure that the blades line up with the, th with the octave key, that's this guy right here, the thumb key right on the back, which should be lined up above the thumb rest down here. So on this side, without any of the keys, that's the back, right? Here's the front, that's all the keys. Here's the back, okay? So again, you have your thumb rest, Above that you have your octave key right there and then above that you have your reed and it should be parallel to, and mine's a little bit out of alignment right now. So just grab it by the, the cork and turn it gently until it's lined up. Okay, and then you're good to go and you're ready to play. All right, I'll see you right back here in lesson three.